so summertime cherries have a very short window of only a couple of weeks when they're at a great price and also super sweet. So I'm going to take my little bowl of cherries here back to the kitchen and we're going to make a no-bake cherry cheesecake. So I've got my cherries back to the kitchen and all I've done is pitted them and cooked them down with just a little bit of sugar and some cherry brandy and cinnamon. And that's your sauce, very easy. So for the crust, one of my favorite combinations is cherries and chocolate. So instead of doing just regular graham crackers, I got some chocolate cookies and ground them up. And this is just sugar and cinnamon in here. And I'm just gonna get in some melted butter and start stirring that around. And it'll become like a crumbly, kind of wet, sandy texture. And then once it gets mixed in the way that you'd like for it to, you start pressing it down into your spring form pan that's already sprayed with some cooking oil. So my crust is pressed down into the bottom of my pan. I'm, I've refrigerated it for just a little while. And now I'm gonna get my cheeses together. This uses some sour cream, some Philadelphia cream cheese, mascarpone, and goat cheese. So I'm gonna get this blended together. So once that gets nice and fluffy, have some cream already whipped up. And then you're just going to put in your cream and you're just going to fold that in so that it still stays stiff. That also gives it a little bit more of a lighter texture. So now this is ready to go. And I'm just going to get it into the pan on top of my crust and I'll show you how to release it once it's done. So here's how it looks once you get the filling in. You're going to put this in the freezer for about two hours at least. And then when you get ready to serve it, just put it in the refrigerator for an hour before to thaw out. And then what you're going to do, I made several little ones for a party that I'm having this weekend. Just take a spatula and go around the edges and that will release it from the sides and then you pop open your spring form and then this just pushes up and it comes out. So here's one that I already unmolded and then all you have to do to serve it up with your wonderful cherries is to just top it with your beautiful sauce. That is so wonderful and a great way to enjoy all the wonderful seasonal cherries. So you can find this recipe and many more ways to use cherries in tomorrow's flavor section of the Tyler paper on CBS19.tv.